Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So we are here for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 12, episode one. Um, when I first heard Kenya was coming back, I was kind of scared. I was kind of nervous because when she left the show, she left on a good note, left on a positive note. Um, I was a little scared for her to come back because of the drama that happened. Before she calmed down and got a husband and all that, I was a little scared of that. So I didn't know how she was going to react to whatever. But once I found out that she was a mother, I kind of, you know, got a sigh of relief and said, yeah, maybe she should come back to the show because she is known to spice things up on the show, get stuff started, even though her way of starting stuff normally don't end well for her or anybody else she starts stuff with so i was kind of nervous and scared about her but i'm here for kenya i'm here for her return i'm here for her to be back i'm here for her being a mother um i'm kind of here for her to start mess all over again just some good mess not no bad bad mess way punches coming to play push it coming to play um hitting people upside the head coming to play now none of that we don't need none of that i want none of that but i am happy and excited for kenya and her baby um brooklyn and the baby beautiful kenya look good mark's still working she's still going from new york to atlanta um even though his schedule sucks and he wasn't there for the party or whatever i'm actually happy for kenya and I'm glad, happy, excited that her and Portia made up. Because you know when Kenya first came into the scene, her and Portia wasn't the best of friends, wasn't the goodest friends. They was always at each other's throats from the insults to the fighting at both reunions to Portia drug her across the stage while her, well, a little couple of inches on the stage and all that that happened. It's nice to see that motherhood can change people for the better. And I got to say that, well, from this first episode, I think Kenya had calmed down, maybe just a little bit, maybe ain't giving us a thousand on 10 like she used to, but I'm excited to see what Kenya got for her in. I'm happy for her and that she finally can experience some other good in. Um, that's about it I want to say about um, Kenya for now. And her party was everything. I really enjoyed her party that she threw. That was kind of an everything kind of party. Like, um, it was um, good and great and all that. And is this season, like, everybody getting pregnant? Should I suspect Nene come out next talking about she pregnant? Do anybody know as Nene Leaks pregnant? Cause we got Portia was pregnant by the season was ended. Now she didn't had her baby. Kenya didn't had her baby. Eva was pregnant the first season she came on. Now she having another baby. We got Candy and her surrogate and now she pregnant. Um, is anybody else we don't know about pregnant? I don't know. It's Demetra. Not is her name Demetra, the woman from um, I, the woman from last season, the woman that like to have that. I forgot her name. Was it the not not Demetra? What was the girl name? <laughs> it been too long. I forgot the other girl that was on here last season. Where is she at? Did they get rid of her? Yeah, she gonna be like a Nene Leeds. Don't come to about the end of the season, cause I already kept up with the news, and I already know Nene ain't coming back to about the middle of the season somewhere, or she'll pop up by episode six or seven somewhere, cause she was doing a whole lot of things while y'all was filming. So let's move it on to Portia and Dennis. Now Dennis. I didn't want to believe all these stories about you. I basically kept up with everything that happened with you last season and basically everything that happened while y'all was filming the season and everything that I read on YouTube and shout out to Tasha K with her, um, getting her um, getting her some publicity on, on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Leaking Portia and Dennis' story. Um, 
I look at her anyway, so I'm not surprised or shocked they used her because I already knew that was going to happen because if you kept up with you two, you know about Tasha K because Tasha K was basically the one that was leaking everything contains to Portia and Dennis. Basically, her and Lovely T, and it was another one. I think straight to the A.com, and it was another one. Basically, they was leaking the stories about Porsche, and you got to decide for who telling the truth and who telling lies or who trying to get clicks. So, well, most of them got it right, and mostly said everything other ones didn't say or other ones wouldn't say. So, yeah, Dennis, I don't know what to believe or not. I do, however, believe you do got side chicks, and I do, however, believe that you were cheating on Portia. Like Portia said, the whole time she was pregnant, you were cheating on her, which is kind of messed up, Dennis. You was all happy and excited on the show that she was pregnant. You finally got her pregnant. You finally was going to marry her and all this, and now you cheating on the woman behind her back while she pregnant on her show, embarrassing her. Like... I don't know what to say, Dennis. If I was Portia, I wouldn't take you back. I'd probably end back well. I wouldn't cheat on you or nothing like that. I just wouldn't want you being associated with this show. Because now, it's like quiet whole storyline on Mad the Medicine was about the affair, her divorce, and all these other rumors. And now, basically, Portia living in. So, if I was Portia... I'll keep you a weapon this show. And we back together, this show with no. And you back into the house, this show with no. And we filming, they wouldn't see you. Like if I was Portia, I'll keep you a weapon this show. Cause if we back together and we good, you know the show gonna milk this for every dollar they can. So look at you now. You was happy in love and falling in love and want to get pregnant and all this and that. Now, you the talk of the blogs. Now, Dennis been cheating on you. Dennis been doing that. Dennis been doing this. Dennis had sex toys. Dennis like this and all this and all that now. Portia, I feel so bad for you. Like, you thought you had a good one. He was wearing the mask. That mask got exposed. And I can't kind of blame Candy now from last season trying to leak about him being not such a good guy or he not the guy you think he was. I was a little hard on Candy. Basically what Candy was saying was basically true. We just don't want to hear we snapped that Candy. And I also like the perspective that Candy, when a girl um sincerely showed up, the one that Tasha, Tasha K said was his side piece, and she known Dennis for a while, I kind of like the way you took the approach of this. If I tell Portia this, of course, she going to take it wrong because I was all up in the dentist business and I was kind of trying to tell her this and tell her that, of course, she didn't want to hear from me. So I like the approach you took, Candy, with not telling her about this. Let somebody else tell her about this besides it coming from me because you know it's coming from me. She might think I'm trying to come after her, trying to destroy her, mess her um, live all over again. So, Candy, I do like the approach you like. Congratulations on your, I think you said you're having a daughter, going to surrogate you. 16 weeks pregnant, I think. No. Yeah, 13 weeks pregnant. That's what it is. Uh, congratulations to you also, Candy. I know you lost one arm in the process, but you're gaining one. Um, Ace is three years old now. He into soccer. Uh, I like the fact that you keep an Ace involved in this, meaning that you let him... Um, you let him be in the process of the baby going to the appointments and all this and all that. I like that. And that you keeping him informed. Y'all doing everything. I know it feel kind of weird, Kenny, that you're not actually the one um, having a baby bomb, getting the, uh, you know, everything involved in pregnancy, the booze, the milk, and all that process. I know you feel lost that you're not in that, but... 
once your baby he, once your baby is here, you'll forget about all that, and you'll love your child regardless. Though I am happy for you, and look like me, you're gonna be on good terms this this season. Um, poor Portia, Candy, if you keep this up, uh, I'm liking your storyline also. Naiwa, congratulations to you and your new bundle of joy. Um, you cracked it again. Um, what else you talked about? The drama from last season. Um, basically the only drama I know about last season from you was about the two houses in your stalker that Nene and others used against you and tried to say you was lying and all this. Meaning, um, what's the guy's name? The one that always coming on him. What's that woman name? Nene friend. Um, not sure. Um, dang, what's that girl name? Whatever the one that come on here acting like she rich, where they say she a prostitute. I forgot her name. See how long it then been too long. Um, but got her name, but her and others blew that story up, and I kind of wasn't here for all that and all this and what was going on. So. Yeah, about that Eve will stay out of the drama. Don't let them get you all riled up or whatever. Keep doing what you're doing or whatever and keep on being your great self. So I'ma like you this season also. Um the sincerely girl that showed up at um old lady game, Portia. Cynthia and um Eva was there. Eva trying to eat up the whole menu. I think that was kind of a setup for sincerely to just show up out of nowhere. And of course, Candy know her, and of course, Candy hugs her. That was kind of a set up, a, a kind of a set up for me. I don't know who set it up. I don't believe it was Candy this time around. I think it was a more uh, of a producer's kind of thing. Because it's very obvious. The camera's there. They there. All of a sudden, she come around the band, come around the circle. And, oh, hey, I'm sincerely. Yeah, it wasn't me. Yeah, they put it out there. And that's from a vindictive ex that want to get at me. So they said I was cheating. And they fed stories to the vlogs and all this. And I... Sincerely, I don't think I believe you starting out there because normally these bloggers, these posters, or what else for the celebrity stuff, they don't just they just don't come out of the sky. Um they just don't come out the out of the sky or out of the sky blue, just accusing you of nothing without receipt. So I think that was kind of odd and kind of weird how you just showed up out of nowhere. Then not to mention you talking about some I'm the side chick, or they say I'm the side chick, and all this and all that, and I'm not trying to break up happy homes and all this and all that. I find that kind of weird and kind of odd how you just came out of nowhere, and you making it seem like you wasn't involved in nothing, you didn't do nothing, all the story is made up and all this and all that. I don't think I believe you too much, sincerely. You seem sincere, but I don't know how sincere you really are. Cause that seemed like kind of a setup, like you just came out of nowhere and um, Candy and they just showed up and then all of a sudden you come around and like that was a setup. I ain't gonna say Candy did it. I think it was more Real Housewives cause they messy as hell like that. They messy to set up stuff to make somebody look bad. So I would say that this was kind of a producer, this was kind of a, um, a producer's kind of setting this up to make it seem like Candy, but I ain't gonna put this one on Candy. I don't think Candy had her hand in this one cause Candy taking the high road with this. She said, I'm not telling. If anybody else want to tell, I'm not telling cause it's not none of my plays. The last time I tried to tell her, it didn't work out for me. So the way Candy talking, I don't think this Candy, unless she fooling me, but I think Candy hands clean in this one. Cynthia and Mike Hill. Now, Cynthia, I'm going to piggyback after I said season 11 with you. Please stop being thirsty. You got the man. The man loves you. You love him. Now, Cynthia, 
I'm gonna need for you to calm down your thirst and I'm gonna need for you to grab a bucket of water and start drinking now. And when you're done with that bucket of water, grab another bucket and keep on drinking until your belly about to pop. Your thirst is gonna run that man away from you. Like Kenya said, you ain't even much engaged yet and you talking about a ring. Yeah, I mean, you ain't even much um, marriage yet and you already talking about a, what, what was the marriage? You ain't even much ready to walk down the aisle yet and you already talking about a ring. When a man do give you the ring, then you bring up the wedding stuff. Then you talk about this involving the wedding. You ain't even much got a ring yet and you already, you gonna do just like Kenya did to Walter uh, season six or season seven, when Kenya was begging that man around here with the Jerry curl and the um the Jerry curl and the Jerry curl and the Jerry curl, remember that man Walter, the one that Nene had at her party. You gonna do a Kenya to uh Mike Hill? It seems good. It seems fine now, but trust and believe, like that man said. In due time, I'm gonna give you what you want. In due time, I'm gonna give you the right. Um, Cynthia, you got to calm down your thirst and drink your bucket of water and be married because you keep on playing around and you keep on forcing and rushing this man. You basically going to run this man away because trust me, just because you got it on me, he can't go to nobody else. Your thirst is going to run that man away the way the hell away from you. You got to calm it down a couple of thousand notches and be married. Just be lucky that that man traveling no miles. He got to travel just to come to you, and you ain't thankful thankful for that. And you sit up here rushing this man to put a ring on your finger, then marry you. Calm, you're behind down, Cynthia, and then you gonna come to King your party dressed as um the bride. Oh no, I'm the thirsty bride. As the Kenya party, the party was one of while after the theme of the party. Everybody came as, you know, one of the barbies. And it worked out the way it needed to work out. And everybody did a good job when it came to that. And everybody did their thing, what they needed to do. So the party was good. I enjoyed all that. Like, you did your thing with that party, Kenya. And that secret was coming out, and they cleared it up. And Portia, like, yes, it's a sigh relief, but for what cause, though, that, yeah, she might not be involved, but he still cheated on me. So, yeah, that's a sigh relief that it wasn't her that was cheating on Dennis, and she wasn't a side chick, but there might be more than her out there that he cheated on or whatever, though. But I like that everybody costume for the most part. I think the only one that lost me was he was talking about the workout Barbie when she already pregnant and looked like she about to pop. She probably would have did better coming as the pregnant Barbie. Other than that, everybody else did their thing with their um costumes and dressed up as a Barbie. Like everybody did their thing, did what they had to do or whatever. And basically, that's all that happened in this episode. So anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.